Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. And welcome to Book Chat. I am your host, Dr. Vivian E. Moore. Hope everyone had a great week. And I hope you're having an even better weekend. All right, so we're going to get straight to today's show. The title is Ghosted. And the topic is Unlocking the Power of Ghost Writing. In content creation, mentioning the word ghost, it can sometimes evoke a sense of unease, okay? Because our minds, they may conjure up images of malevolent entities lurking in the shadows, you know, all of that spooky stuff. But fear not, for the type of ghost we're referring to in this context is entirely harmless, all right? And it can be incredibly beneficial. So, Let's just get straight to it. So ghostwriting, you know, it's often shrouded in mystery because, you know, it's a practice where a writer crafts content on behalf of someone that is credited as the author. All right. So while some may, you know, perceive it as a form of deception, it's a widely accepted and respected practice, including publishing and journalism and marketing. And so uh, I want to talk about why harnessing the power of ghostwriters can, it can revolutionize your content strategy. You know, as I said, you know, it's it's not anything that's new. This has been happening for a very long time. And, uh, and you've probably read many publications and books by famous people and thought, wow, I didn't know they could write. <laughs> Well, full disclosure, they probably hired a ghostwriter. And there is nothing wrong with that process because, you know, many authors have stories inside of them, but they don't know how to navigate the writing process or they don't have time to do it themselves. So they turn to ghostwriters to get the job done for them. And so, it, and it's why I want to uh, discuss a few topics, excuse me, of why ghostwriting is on point. Number one reason, expertise amplification. All right. So one of the primary benefits of hiring ghostwriters is the ability to tap into a diverse, into a diverse pool of expertise. You know, like I said, whether you're a busy executive or a thought leader or a subject matter expert, conveying your ideas and writing might not be your forte. So it's where ghostwriters come in. And what they can do is is excel and translate complex concepts um, into compelling narratives, ensuring that your message resonates with your audience. And that's what you want to do first and foremost. Number two, time and efficiency. We just talked about that. You know, in, in today's fast paced world, time is a precious commodity. All right. We all have can identify with that. And so what it does is it allows you to focus on uh, other personal pursuits by outsourcing, okay, if you will, uh, your writing task to a ghostwriter or ghostwriters. Uh, instead of grappling with writer's block or spending hours trying to refine your po- prose, or you can just trust a skilled ghostwriter to deliver polished content within your timeline, all right? So it's nothing wrong with that. If you have ever considered hiring a ghostwriter, okay, today's show is for you. All right, so number three, enhanced credibility. So, you know, while ghostwriting remains, you know, pretty much behind the scenes, their contributions can significantly enhance your credibility and authority within your industry. Okay, let let me just say, you're not trying to fool anybody. What you're trying to do is, you have these ideas, you have these concepts, you have these stories inside of you. And 
and you just don't know how to translate them into words. So, you know, in steps the ghostwriter, they can do all of those things for you. And there's nothing wrong with you. It's um, wrong with that. It is perfectly fine. It is perfectly legal. And, you know, and, and you don't have to disclose the fact that you hired a ghostwriter to write the book for you because it is essentially your story. You just hired someone else to write it for you. All right. So, you know, whether you are publishing articles or books or blog posts or just having, you know, that that well-crafted content uh, attributed to your name, what it does is it reinforces your expertise and position, you know, as someone who can be thought of as a leader. All right. Because <laughs> that's what we want to do. We We don't necessarily want to be, you know, the president of the United States. But we want to be respected, you know, in, in our regards in what we do. All right. So number four, versatility and flexibility. All right. So ghostwriters are adept at adapting their writing style to, you know, to suit your brand and your voice and your target audience. You know, whether you require formal white papers, uh, engaging blog posts or captivating speeches, ghostwriters, okay, they can tackle all of that and those topics with finance, all right? Because that's what they have been built to do. Moreover, they can seamlessly adjust, okay, their workload based on your evolving needs. So that means that they're at your beck and call whenever you need them, all right? And I don't want to make it to sound like, you know, that you have control over them, but they're just flexible that they will get done whatever it is that you need have done. All right. So, so providing that flexibility to scale your content, you know, it, 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 it's an effort that is required. All right. So confidentiality and discretion. Well, <laughs> in an age where privacy is paramount, the confidentiality offered by ghostwriters, it is invaluable. And I say that because what if you had ghostwriters <laughs> coming out of the closet and telling everybody's business? Well, they didn't write that book. I wrote that book and they didn't write that book. I wrote that book. So I don't know everything that's involved with ghostwriting as far as confidentiality agreements, but, you know, I'm sure that it is an ethical practice that you know, that ghostwriters, in order to keep their business afloat, <laughs> they have to they have to keep those things to themselves. All right. So rest assured, your business is your business and you don't have to worry about nobody putting it out there in the streets. All right. So whether you're drafting sensitive internal communications or propriety reports or just personal memoirs, uh, ghostwriters they uphold strict confidentiality agreements, ensuring your content remains securely guarded. Okay, so there you go. All right. So I don't know if that confidentiality agreement is in writing or it's just words. Okay. But make sure you get it on paper. All right. And make sure that it that everything has been signed. All right. So, you know, ghostwriting is is something that is so beneficial and is so needed because you know, I'm just going to be honest. I've read a lot of books and by famous people and some of them are actors or were actors. And <laughs> unscripted, they just don't have the vocabulary to, you know, to put together a 250 page book or 300 or 400 page book. Not to say that, you know, with the with the proper training and with good editors that they can't do it, but it's just easier to hire someone else to do it. And probably a good idea. And it's probably why their books are bestsellers for that reason. You know, and I'm not trying to stomp on anyone's toes by saying this, but, you know, ghostwriting is just so invaluable. And the people who do the, the ghostwriting, they are invaluable. And I mean, they need to be respected and, you know, and held as heroes because, you know, they, they just put everything together. They make it make sense. You know, they, they, they write bestsellers using their style and their level of expertise to get the job done. 
And I mean, what more could you ask for in that? And not and then on top of that, you know, they don't tell your business. You know, they let you take all the credit for the book and, you know, without putting your business in the street. So I think it's a wonderful thing. You know, one of these days I may look into ghostwriting because, you know, I my lifestyle, my life is extremely busy and and I have so many stories inside of me that I cannot get out all at once. That's why I always, you know, I'm always working on more than one project at a time. And sometimes it can get confusing, but two, you know, it delays the process because, you know, while you've got all of these irons in the fire, you know, the, the project that you need to be giving all your, your attention to or your full attention to, you know, is being neglected. So just think about that. It's okay. You know, you can, I know that as a writer, as an author, what you do is, is uh, very important to you. It's very close to your heart and you don't want to hand it off to anyone else to do it. But sometimes it's, it's okay to do that. Okay. It's, it's okay to delegate the work to someone else. All right. It's still your story. You're just allowing someone else to write it for you. So it's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So just consider it, you know, like I'm considering it because, you know, I don't see it as a bad thing. And that's why I'm doing today's show because, you know, I just want to get that word out there that ghostwriters don't get enough credit. They really don't. And, you know, and, and they can't really tell who they've written for unless they have an agreement that they can, you know, let that come out into the open. But, but, you know, like CIA operations, sometimes they have to keep it, you know, they have to keep it on the down low because the person who they're writing for, you know, wants the world to to think that I wrote this book, you know, and, and don't want to give credit to, you know, those writing partners, those silent writing partners that have actually done all the work. Okay. So, uh, you know, in conclusion, the practice of ghost writing, you know, it transcends uh, its spectral connotations. Okay. To emerge as a powerful ally in your content creation arsenal. So by enlisting the, the services of skilled ghost writers, you unlock a wealth of benefits, including expertise, amplification, time and efficiency, enhanced credibility, versatility, and confidentiality. All right. I, I just realized something. It's versatility. I my something is wrong with my tongue. Okay, so all right. So it's versatility. In case you're listening and you want to correct me, it I can read is versatility. All right. So, you know, banish any lingering apprehensions and, and embrace the transformative potential of ghostwriting to elevate your content strategy to new heights. All right, guys, that is the show for today. I hope that it was rewarding that you, you know, that you found some nuggets in it that will be useful and helpful to you. Uh, if you are considering hiring a ghostwriter, to do a job for you. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Uh, it's a very good business proposition to, to, you know, to free your hands to do other things. All right. So that is essentially the show today. And as I always say, remember to tell those who you care about the most, how you feel about them, because tomorrow is not promised. Today may be the only chance to say, I love you. So on that note, I love you. And until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.